about solving quadratic functions using the square root. And here we have another example. And so we want to use gemdas and get x by itself. And whenever we use gemdas, we always start with addition or subtraction, then go to multiplication division, and then go to exponents and groups after that. So the first thing we see is we see addition, so we can subtract 48 from both sides. And then we get 3x squared is equal to negative 48. And now we can divide by 3. And we get x squared equals negative 16. And now to get uh, x by itself, we have to take the square root of both sides. And here we run into a problem. Uh, Let's think about this. Uh, we have a question. What numbers can we multiply together to get negative 16? So um, we know that the square root of 16 is equal to plus or minus 4. We can say 4 times 4 equals 16, or we can say minus 4 times minus 4 equals 16. But there's no combination. There's no combination that we can say of the same number multiplied together that will give us a negative. So in this case, uh, there is no real solution. So we can write down no real solution. So anytime that we go to take this the square root of a negative value, uh, the answer will be no real solution. And let's take a look at what that looks like in a, in a graph. So we have the function that we worked on in the first example, where we had the two zeros uh, at negative 2 and 2. So the graph went down and actually crossed the, the uh, x-axis. However, this graph, 4x squared plus 48, it has a y-intercept at 48, uh, but then it opens up. So there's no actual point where that graph crosses the x-axis. And so for that one, we'll say, we'll just, once we take the square root of negative, we'll understand that, yes, it is still a parabola. Yes, it is still graphed. It just does not cross the x-axis. And that's what we're trying to solve for.